These are some of the unluckiest teen drivers. My car won't stop. My car will not stop. In 2015, a terrified teen frantically pleaded for help while behind the wheel of a runaway car. I can't stop my car. I think my gas pedal just broke. I'm going to help you. Just stay on the phone, okay? I cannot control the speed or anything. I was going 60 miles an hour down the street. Olivia Crooks, who was 16 at the time, says she was driving home from school in Wisconsin when the nightmare began. What is your speed right now? When I have my foot completely on the brake, I cannot stop going 25 to 30. Okay. And I have my foot on the brake. 911 operator Julia Robach knew just what to do. The dispatcher was so helpful. She helped me through one of the most stressful moments in my life, and I have so much to thank her for. Shift into neutral or your N if you can. I got it into neutral, but my engine keeps revving and it won't stop. We have protocols that we follow in any type of situation. Luckily, we have something we bring up, and it talks us right through what to do and enabling to tell her and keeping her calm at the same time. You keep it in neutral and try to apply firm, constant pressure to your brake pedal gradually. Don't pump your brake, okay? Don't pump it. Apply the firm, constant pressure to your brake pedal. Okay. Tell me if it starts to slow down, okay? My car stopped. It worked and not a moment too soon. There's smoke coming out of my wheels. Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, the company that manufactures the PT Cruiser Olivia was driving, said they had no reports of any similar occurrence. In 2018, a teenager slowly pulled into a driveway when this happened. Damn it! Oh my gosh. Scott Johnson hit the gas instead of the brake and slammed right into the garage door. Oh, I thought my dad was going to kill me and like my my uh, my mom, Lisa, she was going to flip. Scott, his dad and younger brother were returning from the store in Virginia when things went haywire. Damn it! Oh, I was thinking of my dad, my truck, my house, my wife's going to kill me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I am so sorry. This mangled door was the aftermath. I think he can do better, but I think he'll have to wait until he's 18. A new door was installed, and the car wasn't seriously damaged. And because of the incident, Scott learned a vital lesson. He knows where the brake is now. <laughs> yeah, I for sure do. Oh, my gosh, All right, Dad. I got it. I, oh, my gosh. I swear I... Back up. I'm sorry, Dad. In 2018, this car found itself in a rough spot. It happened after heavy rainfall washed out a section beneath the country road, creating a sinkhole that this sedan drove into. Renville County Sheriff Scott Hagel says they'd seen roads washed out before, but it's extremely rare, especially with the car inside. Police say the teen driver escaped without any injuries thanks to a seatbelt and airbags. Afterward, the sheriff's office reminded drivers and passengers to always buckle up. Not exactly the kind of wildlife most scuba divers are used to looking at, but it took divers, police officers, firefighters, and a tow truck to get this car out of a Colorado swimming pool in 2021. A teenager with the learner's permit made a classic driving mistake hitting the gas pedal instead of braking. And the car carrying the teen and their guardian drove right into the pool. A diver attached a tow line to the vehicle so a tow driver could haul the car out of the pool. The teen driver and the adult chaperone got out of the car safely. Imagine getting your driver's license and a week later, this happens. It happened to a teen named Marley from North Carolina in 2022. I was turning right at the bread store over the train tracks, and I didn't know that the road curved to the right, so when I went over, I straightened my wheel and ran off the tracks and got stuck. Thankfully, she and her best friend Julie got out before impact. So after we got stuck, we were in the car for maybe not even a minute, and I told Julie, I said, I can't leave my car. I need my car. And that's when Julie told me, get out of the car. We are on train tracks. We cannot sit here. They both walked away unharmed, but the car was totaled. It's totaled. It has frame damage done. The engine got, whenever the car was flipped, it got flipped out of place. Like, I'm not real good with cars, but I know it does not frame. 
Afterward, Marley left the driving to her boyfriend, Curtis. Not no more. I probably won't drive for a little bit. It's just, and every time we go over the train tracks, I get so scared. I'll be like, Curtis, make sure you make the right turn. Don't get stuck. I just can't believe it. It's so unbelievable. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.